I'm just going to come right out and say it. And I know a lot of you really may not like what I'm about to say. Um, you can tell by the title of the video kind of how I feel. But guys, I don't really like the concept of juicing. I really don't. I don't like the idea of juice cleanses, juicing, juice detoxes, whatever. Uh, I'm not crazy about it. And I'm going to tell you why I'm not. Uh, but I am also going to tell you that if you choose to juice, how you can do it in a more effective and healthier way. Okay, guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'm a practicing family doc. You know me. Uh, let's just jump right in because I know you guys are like, let's see what she got to say. And I don't blame you. Okay, I don't blame. I know a lot of people juice. First thing I need you to ask yourself is if you juice or if you're thinking about doing it, why is it that you want to juice? This is one of my first, I guess, points that I wanted to make is that oftentimes people want to start juicing to either what we call detox or say they want to lose weight. Okay. Um, when it comes to detoxing and guys, I've talked to you guys about this a million times, a juice cleanse juicing for a number of days or whatever is not going to detox you. It's our organs, our lungs, our kidneys, our GI tract, etc., that detox us. Think about it. If we needed juice or a juice cleanse to detox us, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Don't you think? Yeah. So that's not a reason to uh, sort of do a juice cleanse or uh, start juicing consistently, although there's some caveats to that. Um, but let me also talk about the weight loss piece. OK, um, sure. If all you drink are liquids for a period of time, you might lose some weight, um, but it's not going to be pretty, nor is it going to be sustainable, nor is it going to be healthy. OK, and you might actually just end up peeing a lot and all this kind of stuff and not really have true weight loss. All right. So I wanted to sort of level set with those couple of things first, because that's oftentimes what I hear, like my patients say that they want to start juicing for. All right. Now let's go to the concept of juicing and like sort of break that down. All right. First of all, juicing and juice in and of itself is not bad. It's not. Now, uh, let me put some caveats to that. I'm talking about the juicing that you may do at home, meaning you're putting fruits and veggies in a blender or a juicer, and you're making juice from whole veggies and fruits. Now, I have to say, I would actually prefer you get your fruits and veggies from the whole fruits and veggies. If you want fruits and veggies, I'd prefer you to eat the apple, eat the orange, uh, eat the kale, etc. in the whole form. But some of you might say, hey, Dr. Jen, I'm not going to eat it at all if I can't juice it. And you know what? I'll say, hey, then throw that, throw it in the juicer then, okay? Putting those whole veggies and fruits in there, okay? Now, that, that I do think can be okay, Keep listening. OK, um, what is not OK, in my opinion, is uh, store bought juice. OK, why? Because that has got a ton of sugar. That is not what we want. But let's say you want to juice your own fruits and veggies at home. OK, well, that could be fine. But make sure you're watching your portions, because if you're putting tons and tons and tons and tons of fruit in there, maybe more than what you would eat in a single portion, you actually may be getting more sugar than you need at the time. OK, so you've just got to remember that. But a few other things about juicing in general. Let's say we are going down the route of uh, making your own juicing at home. You're doing your juicing at home, which, by the way, is the better option. OK, um, I still want you to eat the whole fruits and the whole uh, veggies. But let's say you're doing it at home. Number one, I don't want you to say juice for for extended periods of time. OK, if you want to do that, in my opinion, as a part of an overall healthy, balanced diet, you have like a juice smoothie made of whole fruits and vegetables that you have blended up and you use that to supplement your diet. In addition to well-balanced meals that you are also eating, I say carry on. Be my guest. But if that's all you're doing, if that's all you're drinking, that's going to be a problem, in my opinion. And you know why? Well, number one, uh, you're going to be hungry. Mm hmm. And what, why am I saying that? I'm saying that you might say, well, I'm trying to lose weight or whatever. No, no. I, I don't want you to lose weight by like being hungry and only drinking liquids. OK, number one, it's not always sustainable. It's not usually sustainable. Number two, you may end up overeating when you start eating again. Number three, remember, if we are not getting proper nourishment, it's going to keep us from like living out our daily life the way we should. Uh, thinking, working, taking care of our families and things like that. OK, there's a practical aspect to this. All right. You can end up being pretty weak from just drinking juice, even if it is the healthier version of juice. The other thing to keep in mind is that juice, um, whether it's sort of you're, you're juicing uh, veggies and, and and fruits, you're not going to get a lot of protein from that. And you're also perhaps not going to get a lot of certain vitamins and minerals that you also need. Remember, juicing is not necessarily going to provide everything that you need. It's another reason why I'm not a fan of juicing for extended periods of time or actually really ever. Like I said, you want to put it as a part of a well-balanced diet? Fine. 
but only drinking juice, I'm not a fan of it. That's another reason, okay? Um, the other thing I would say too is that many of us uh, may have underlying conditions, whether you have diabetes or you have a heart condition or if you have a kidney condition or something like that. For you, juicing simply may not be feasible or even healthy or wise, okay? You know, I always say, I always say, you know, check with your doctor to see if they're okay with it and check with your doctor. And you, some of you guys are like, well, what? they don't know anything. Well, we do know some things, some things, not everything. And you're, you guys are usually right that we don't have as much nutrition knowledge as we would like to, to be honest with you. But we can tell you, and I can tell you this, that there are some people uh, that really should not be juicing, okay? Uh, and once again, as I said in the beginning of the video, even if you're juicing of the healthy variety, your own fruits and veggies, etc., um, it's still not a, a long term solution uh, really for anything. And the weight loss, if you do lose weight, um, it may end up being temporary. It may be limited, etc. A far better way to lose weight, if that's the reason why you wanted to juice in the first place, is to eat a well-balanced diet, to exercise, to talk to your doctor about different options that we have these days. If you're thinking about detoxing, I want you to remind yourself you don't need the detox. And yes, there are some people that need a true external detox. Maybe that's somebody who's on, who has kidney failure, who needs dialysis. That is a true detox by an external factor of the dialysis machine. If you're wondering if you need a detox, talk to your doctor. Those are not the reasons that you should juice. I would say again, I prefer that you get your fruits and veggies by eating the fruits and veggies whole, okay? There are benefits to that, the skins of the fruits and the veggies and, and all of that kind of stuff, all right? You are going to get a lot of nutrients for putting them in a blender and juicing them. If that's the only way you'll take them in, I will take it. But once again, if you do that, I still only want you to do that in the context of a balanced, healthy diet where you're also taking in uh, solid foods and it's well balanced, like I said, okay? So these are some of the reasons why I'm just not the biggest fan of juicing in the way that we often hear about it talked about. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that try juicing for different reasons and in different ways, um, but it's not always the healthiest. And like I said, I generally don't recommend it. But you know, I understand that you have to make the right decisions for you. And I encourage you to do that with your doctor. Your doctor knows what your underlying conditions are, who you are, what's going on in your life. So you need to talk to your doctor about what's right for you. These are just a few thoughts that I have. I probably have some more thoughts that I forgot to say, but those are, those are a good start. I want you to let me know what you think. I know my opinion is probably a little bit unpopular here, but, uh, but I do believe in it. And I've said it many times over the years. Let me know what you do. Do you juice? How do you juice? What do you juice? How often do you juice? Do you do liquid only? Do you, what do you do? Right in the comments, let me know. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos. For those of you on Facebook, please like and follow my page. Uh, also, for those of you who send stars, I respond personally. Thank you so much. On YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. And guys, on YouTube and Facebook, I have exclusive uh, subscription groups. And make sure you go to my website. My website is drjencoddle.com for lots of information, uh, my free health newsletter, all sorts of things. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Share this video with anyone else you think might need to hear it. Um, but tell me what you think. All right. Love y'all.